Yes, um, as we all know, we are living now in an ever-evolving cyber threat landscape. We have um, sophisticated attacks, we have uh, geopolitical uh, events taking place, and all this is uh, increasing the sophistication of the cyber threat landscape. Um, we have to manage the threats. Um, we cannot completely avoid them, and this is the challenge. We have to increase the maturity and resiliency of our organizations, of our um, uh, cybersecurity posture. We need to become more resilient to be able to navigate this threat landscape. You cannot avoid everything, but you can increase the maturity and resiliency. Another challenge is uh, the increased complexity of compliance requirements. We are, you know, depending on the industry and coming from banking, I tell you that um, banking is um, the top most regulated industry. So we have so many compliance requirements and I think um, a key uh, factor here is uh, for the ability of the cybersecurity compliance teams to manage those compliance requirements in a way that benefits the organization, that benefits their total uh, overall uh, control effectiveness environment. So yes, those are uh, top threats that come to mind, top uh, challenges that come to mind and how to make the best of them. Thank you. Uh, my message is work hard. Cybersecurity industry is incredible and it is always updating. So you need to put in the effort to work hard and learn in your own time, not just learn uh, things that you get from school or from the internet. Always go and update yourself with the latest news, with the latest uh, updates that are happening in the world in the, of the cybersecurity. And the uh, second thing is always find a good mentor. A uh, good mentor would help you in uh, uh, upskilling your uh, knowledge that you have, making you more advanced in the skills that you have and the soft skills that you will also need in the cybersecurity industry. I originally have a background in international relations and political science. And I was working in uh, human rights and government advocacy for sustainable development. And when I realized the potential of digital transformation for sustainable development, I decided to enroll in a master's degree and I had the thesis that ended up being about cyber resilience as a strategic goal for governments. So really focusing on what the role that governments have in helping us have a secure digital transformation. And since then, I'm absolutely passionate about this topic. I work for the UN Agency for LVICTs, and there I, I lead projects related to skilling cybersecurity, skilling uh, women, skilling youth, and policymakers to be able to face um, you know, cybersecurity challenges and to have the right posture to be able to reap the benefits of digital transformation. Super exciting for sure. I can confess it's a bit challenging, but this is the exciting challenge that keeps you always on your toes smiling, pulling other women with you, try to encourage them, push them forward. Cybersecurity is for everyone. And this is exactly one of the major domains where it needs lots of diversity because it's a problem that no one can fix it alone. Uh, I love it, challenging, but it's extreme fun.